Hey everybody, it's Josh here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to continue the conversation about the new Genshin 2.0 update. Today we're going to be talking about prepping for 2.0. And you may be wondering, Josh, how are we supposed to prep for 2.0 when there are going to be new materials, new farmables, new weapons, new characters? And to that I say that's partially true. However, there are so many ways in which we can actually, you know, prep with the materials and the stuff that we already have within Tavat so that we can save ourselves a lot of time once we jump into the new area. So let's start talking about it. Alrighty, everybody, here we are in, in, in my own Genshin world, and we're, we're just walking around Lia right here. But first, the item, the, the most important item that we need to talk about is adventuring. So for those newer players to Genshin, or, you know, those who have kind of been playing on or, on or off, and who actually haven't finished the prologue, I highly, highly suggest um you people do so because you actually won't be able to gain access to inazuma it's like inazuma and, and every content you know within inazuma if you haven't finished the prologue and you haven't finished more specifically chapter two of uh li yue um make sure that you guys are i believe it's around ar 36 they might even extend it to ar 40 i'm i'm uh, I might have to correct myself there, but uh, make sure that you guys are at least past AR 35 and have finished the uh, chapter two, um, you know, story quest for Li Yue. Uh, and that means you have to fight the big blue uh, water monster. Sorry, spoil if you know that's a spoiler for anybody. But uh, if you guys have already done that and if you guys have already finished all the story quests, um, you know then you guys should be able to gain access to Inazuma. But just for, you know, the newer players out there, um, make sure that you guys have finished the story up until then, or else you won't be able to even see Inazuma because um, the story picks up, uh, you know, where, it, you know, you meet Beto and she actually takes you on a ship, or on her ship, uh, to Inazuma, so... Uh, make make sure that you you've reached that requisite uh, adventure rank level. Next, we do need to talk about uh, the second biggest thing: characters. Um, along with the whole new era comes a slew of new characters, which we actually saw in the 2.0 update trailer. But the first batch of characters that are going to be coming out with this 2.0 update confirmed are one Ayaka. Two, Yoimiya, and three, Sayu. So, you must be wondering, jo Josh, aren't there new materials? So, aren't all the materials going to be locked within Inazuma? So, there, there's no point in, you know, doing anything until then. And on the contrary, because there are actually some materials. Eh, not to say that, you know, this is a leak or anything, but we, we can, you know... Just spitballing some materials out there. Maybe some lotus heads. You know, maybe some, uh, you know, fish. Or uh, it could be cursed scrolls. Um, or some whopper flowers. And if you want to, you know, get a leg up in, you know, some, some talent essential material, you can still farm Azdaya uh, right now because Azdaya is, is available within uh, the Lia continent. So uh, make sure that you guys are, you know, staying diligent with your material farming because with the new characters, with the, you know, new weapons and other items, they're going to require a lot, a lot of materials, not just materials originating from Inazuma um, but you know from Leah and Mondstadt as well uh, next uh, that brings us to our next category weapons so as you guys know weapons do not only take 
you know, weapon ascension material, but they also take other smaller materials as well. Um, you know, even with new weapons, uh, a lot of the, you know, weapon archetypes, you know, let's say bows, fall back on arrowheads. Or, you know, um, if you're looking for a catalyst, they could fall in, into the cursed scrolls or, you know, um, if possibly uh, that there are some, you know, claymores that require insignias. So, um, you know, even though there's, there's going to be, you know, new weapons, um, make sure that you guys still farm those smaller materials because a lot of the weapons tend to fall back on certain uh you know certain specific materials um and and then on the topic of you know farming materials the new artifact set is going to most likely require a lot of stone or you know crystal or you know uh mineral uh material you know, your iron ores, your, your crystal core, you know, those, those blue gem crystal, the blue crystals, whatever. Yeah, they're going to require a lot of those. And, you know, we, we can even look back on a weapon like the Star Tombs, um, uh, what is it, Snow Tomb Star Silver, and, and see that even though they require the, the you know, the, the Star Silver from... Uh, dragon spine it still required some of the blue crystals so that might be a similar case with a lot of the or with the new uh, weapon set that you're able to to craft in Inazuma so make sure that not only are you farming you know general overworld materials but you're also farming the minerals as well next I actually want to switch our scenery and I actually do want to talk about another place where we how what you can't wait how wait 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 hold on hold on hold on, hold on, hold on. wait th this is actually what you can't place it on the bridge okay wait hold up can you place it like here whoa this is new to me if any of you have this issue let me know because what okay that's that's weird anyways <laughs> Yes, I actually do want to talk about the teapot because the teapot does give, you know, a, a few extra resources that, you know, can be helpful in, you know, growing your new characters and your new weapons. So let's talk about them. Trust rank. Obviously, you, um, this is assuming that you've maxed out your trust rank and you should be maxing out your trust rank as fast as possible. Next, make sure that you have some extra, uh, you know, uh, what is it? Currency? Uh, what is it? The realm currency? Uh, make sure that you guys have, you know, some extra realm currency saved up for possible new blueprints that are coming out with Inazuma. Because most likely, there will be, you know, uh, new furnishing blueprints. I actually haven't even finished mine, but I've already reached, you know, level 10, so it doesn't really matter to me. Um, make sure that you guys have some extra funds to be able to buy some of the new the hopeful new blueprints that are coming out. Also, make sure that you are daily buying these vial of adeptal speeds. I know that, you know, they're they're pretty cheap and, you know, they come pretty frequently, but if there's going to be like a ton of new blueprints coming out, um having some, you know, some extra um of the you know, of the of the potions that that speed up your time, it really really helps you out in um in uh you know progressing your teapot because it does take you know a couple hours for to, to craft just one material so make sure you you have you know a couple extra of those what are they called again the vial of the ductal speed um also i actually haven't even got my transient resin so make sure that you guys are you know always farming your transient resin um if you guys do have the excess uh you know realm currency make sure that you also get some of the hero's wit and possibly some more if if you are running out um hero's wit is going to be vital uh because there's going to be you know new characters left right and center um that are going to be needing a bunch and i mean a bunch of exp 
um in like the hundreds and hundreds so make sure that you guys are collecting these hero wits um whether it's in this teapot whether it's you know through events whether it's through um you know just doing story missions uh finishing up quests stuff like that and mora um you know to talk about you know more or to take a pit stop and more you know you can always get more from the teapots there are a bunch of commissions that you can do there are you know commissions in monster and Lia that you can do weekly uh to get you know um pretty good amount of more i believe it's like what the 30k for each mission and then that's that's times three and then like um, the other like smaller like material missions are like 20,000 so that's you know um, 90,000 plus you know 60,000 so that's 150,000 more per week and it's it's pretty substantial so so make sure that you guys are farming the commissions if you guys really need to uh, and you and and this actually goes for more of the you know intermediate or beginner players. Ley lines are an amazing way to uh, speed up your your progression, your your character um, building. So you know farming the heroes with the character exp materials and farming Mora, it's not a bad use of resin. Talking about resin, make sure that you guys are saving as much transient resin. Um, as you can because oops I can't even go to my materials uh, I don't even I don't even have any more oh I do I do sorry I only have two fragile resin make sure that you guys have as much fragile resin as possible because when Inazuma comes around you are going to be wanting to farm everything and if you want to farm it requires fragile resin it requires stamina in order to do so so having you know an extra permanent bank of fragile resin would be really good and also you know with with condensed resin you know uh, condensed resin you know comes and goes um but you can always make sure that you're getting the transient resin from tubby you can you can time it out so that you can get the transient resin one week that convert you know that covers the first part of you know your first week in inazuma and then refresh to get another transient resin so um you you, you uh you can time that out to to, to where wherever you are at so um next and i think the final thing i actually want to talk about is this the golden archipelago and i am a huge huge culprit of this or sorry huge culprit of not doing this but first, make sure that you finish all the events and all the story in the Golden Archipelago. The story and the, the quests and the events are going to give you quite a bit of, you know, rewards in the form of, you know, materials, in the form of EXP, um, stuff like that. So make sure that you first finish the story. And right now, I only have like three out of the five of the of these armored phalanxes uh finished make sure that you guys are finishing this event um also uh on the talk of topic of you know finishing collect all all of the treasure chests that you you can and you know the treasure chest can come in the form of those like hoop things where you toss the ball into or like you know there's the wall where you, where you play tennis um there's the fun events that you know the uh what is it the, the clee uh kabam event or whatever it was called um that was over here that just finished um yeah just you know farm all the treasure chests that you can uh, i highly suggest that you guys use the uh genshin uh what is it interactive map the genshin interactive map in order to find out where the treasure chests where the hidden treasure chests are in each island section so that you are you know optimizing your your time uh because you know finding all those treasure chests and activating them um, you know, it, it takes time. So the interactive map is really, really helpful in that it can mark uh, chests that you finished or, or sorry, sorry, you have to obviously mark it, but like you can, you know, mark chests that you finished and then you can see where, um, you know, 
certain areas that you have or have not explored and, and then go to there. Um, also, um, going back to materials, I know there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of talk about, uh, the Magu, uh, Kenki or Magu Kenki. And it is understood that the Magu Kenki is going to be, you know, is going to be moved into a new area in Inazuma. But it's not a bad idea to actually still farm these marionette cores, even if you don't have Kazuha. I have Kazuha, obviously, so I'm going to be farming a couple more of these. But it is rumored that one character that, you know, um, is on the smaller end could be using the marionette core as their character level up material. I wouldn't know. But that's what people are saying. So, yeah. Maybe farm up these marionette cores because not only is it going to be for Kaza, but it's going to be for other characters as well. So, if you are thinking of farming a boss, this is a great, great, um, you know, sort of mini boss or, you know, boss to farm the um, character ascension materials. As well along with character ascension materials comes uh, what is it come comes the uh yeah the the sea the sea aminoas sea uh, the sea anemones the the sea anemones the sea anemon anemones sea anemones yes make sure that you guys are farming these as well uh, i'm pretty sure they are going to be also um placed in inazuma but you're you know you can never be too sure and hopefully uh you know they they come in larger quantities because it's especially hard to farm them uh you know considering you have to hop from island to island and then you have to you know find the damn things it's you know it's it's ridiculous sometimes so um yeah hopefully when they're placed in inazuma they're a lot easier to find you know if if they do bring them into uh, the, the the world of tavat hopefully they might be placed in the yao guang shoal um they could be placed over here on the falcon coast uh who knows yeah, I'm pretty sure those are the only two like beachy kind of areas that they could be placed. But I'm pretty sure these C M and M and no M and N. Jesus Christ, you guys know what I'm talking about. No, those things um, is I can only assume that they are placed in this like summary type of area. Um, we'll, we'll we'll have to see where they they move them to. But yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and uh, are able to start preparing for Inazuma. Let me know if I missed out on any materials or anything in particular that, you know, um, the community should know about and put it in the comments down below. Uh, please like the video as it does help with the YouTube algorithm. I'm trying to put out more update videos for everybody and hopefully you guys um, are using some of the, you know, advice and info for, for your guys' accounts. Um, subscribe to see more videos and ring the bell for notifications to, you know, get notified when my videos go live. And... I guess we'll we'll see you on stream or, or the next update video. Uh, I appreciate everybody, and uh, let's get farming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Josh out. <laughs>